Flat tires, nobody likes them. Especially when the tire that needs changing belongs to something heavy. Like this Ford Ranger right here. But don't worry, stay with us and we'll show you exactly how tire changes work when it comes to your pickup truck. First things first, with all Ford vehicles, this is what your car manual looks like. Every car is unique to one another, and this will tell you precisely how your vehicle functions. Have a read of this manual, and you'll know where everything is in your Ford vehicle. Moving on, your tire is flat, but first, you need to assess the situation. Where are you? Is your car parked too close to a busy road? Or are you on a loose or uneven surface? If that's the case, it's safer to call emergency services and let them take care of it. But if you're in a safe place and there is enough space, then you can do it yourself. Now, we're going to need tools to get the job done. The first thing you need to do is set up your safety triangle and place it a good distance behind your Ford vehicle with the reflective portion facing outwards. This will help alert oncoming traffic that your vehicle is parked by the roadside and they'll be sure to navigate around you. With that out of the way, let's move on to the next step. For the Ford Ranger, the toolkit is nicely tucked in here. Bring your back seat down. This is where your toolkit will be securely fastened. All you have to do is loosen it and you're done. Now, where's the tire? For the Ford Ranger, it's underneath the truck bed. With the tool provided, you'll need to insert it in here and turn it anti-clockwise. What that will do is lower the spare full-size tire down to the ground. Next, unlatch the tire and drag it out. Next, we'll need to find out where the jack points are so we can jack the car up safely without damaging any portion of the undercarriage. This is the safest place to set up your jack. If you're changing the front tire, set up your jack here. Once your jack is good to go, hang on. We need to do something first before jacking up the car. This might come as standard to most of you, but remember, you must always, always loosen the lug nuts of the tire before you jack up the car. Because if you do this while the truck is jacked up, there's a chance you might topple the truck from off the jack and that's not good. Now that the lug nuts are loosened, attach this additional extension to make jacking up the car easier. Alright, the truck is jacked up and we're ready for the tire swap. First, remove the lug nuts from the old tire. Then, remove the old tire completely from the wheel hub. Replace the wheel cap onto the new tire. Place the new tire onto the wheel hub in the same position. Remember to replace the lug nuts and tighten them slightly before lowering your vehicle. Okay, the car is back on the ground. We remove the jack out of the way and now it's time to tighten the lug nuts fully. It's always good to give it a good step to make sure the lug nut is properly fastened. There we go. That's settled. Now what do we do with this tire? The flat tire goes back to where the spare tire once was, which means you hook it back down here and raise it up with the use of the tools again. Put the tools back to where you found them and we're good to go. Now why can't you just throw your flat in the back? Well, that's a big no because it could be extremely dangerous, especially if you hit a big bump and your tire comes flying out of the truck bed. The next thing to do is to head to your nearest tire shop as soon as possible and get your flat properly repaired. Yes, the spare is a full-size tire, but you should still repair your flat and swap it back to the original position. This is to ensure that you keep the same wear rate as the rest of your tires. Plus, the spare has probably hardened from all those years of not being used. So remember, the spare should just be kept as a spare. So the next time you encounter a flat tire with your Ford Ranger, there's absolutely nothing to worry about because it's really not as hard as it looks. Take care and drive safe.